Hi guys, Colleen here with another quick and easy craft. So again, we're using our little toilet roll inners. Um, and just quickly, this is how I flatten them. So flatten them first and then pop some of these bulldog clips on them and leave them for a few days. So this little one is like a wee folder, so it opens in the middle. And then inside it has a little tag with a little booklet attached. And so, so the first thing I think we'll do is we'll make the tag. It's quite easy. So you're just going to cut one of your toilet roll holes. Here rolls tubes <laughs> in half okay and then you're going to choose uh, some nice cardstock or this is just paper actually these are the wee six by six books you can get in the pawn shop and in the works so I'm going to use my glue now you can just use book pages or gift wrap or printables. You can go onto Pinterest and put in free printable papers and you'll get a load come up. And I think actually just for time's sake I'll just use this on both sides. And the beauty with printables is that you can get free ones on Google and Pinterest. Um, you can buy some from Etsy. And a lot of the printable shops at the minute have sales on to help support people in isolation. Just, you know, give us something to do. The craft community is quite a nice community to be part of. Um, and if you want me to, I can do a little um, favourite printable shop. So just, you can do a video on that. So this is the basis of your tag. And then you're going to have to trim it down a little bit actually because it's not going to fit in. So I'm just using this one. I just trialed and errored it to fit in my little uh, folder when I made it the first time. So then what we want to do is make the tag shape. So we've got one side and then we're going to use the bit that you've just cut off so that the other side is exactly the same and then you can uh, pop in your little hole punch and then a little bit of lace this is what my favourite lace at the minute really really like it and pop it through and then I don't think I've done enough and cut enough off let's see it's probably too much now so you're just going to loop it through and then pop the ends through the loop that's already there there. The other thing you can do, I have like a wee um, leftover scrap bit that I made a wee tiny tag out of from yesterday's stuff. You can, it's a wee bit more fiddly, I find anyway, use your staple 
and do a better job than me <laughs> but staple your little tab on rather than popping it through if you don't have a hole punch okay so that's your tag that's your bases and then for your little book you just cut out some um i use scraps so so for example the scrap of this is the perfect size you can just cut it into two and use it so i have set somewhere my little bits that i'd already done Hmm. Um, oh, here we go. They're underneath. Okay. So we've got, I think there's about eight wee bits of card. And I'm just going to, actually, that's what I did yesterday. I stapled them together first. And then I glued the back page onto the tag. Go, and then that is your wee tag booklet made, ready to go into your folder. So we'll pop it over to the side there for a second. For your little folder, then you're going to need your um full another full <laughs> uh toilet roll holder and then we're going to back it so this is one of the printable kits that i've bought this is only a couple of pages from it so what we need to do is we need to cut this in half to make a little opening and then we're going to back it onto this paper here. So go with our glue again. This is pretty much the same as yesterday, except it's just um, the opening's different. Okay, so. And just trim it off. And then I'm just going to trim off the little white bits from the printable as well. Even when you do no borders, margins. Um, on my printer, you still get um, that wee white border. Oh, do you know what I've just done? I've just put it on the wrong way. <laughs> right, let's put that one away. Let's glue this again. Oh, I was like wondering where on earth did that pattern go? Right. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a, I should have enough for the inside. I'm going to say I don't know if I have enough for the inside now. So. Now, if you just leave that wee tiny extra bit until you do the fold. And then chop off what you don't need. Go and then get inside. Or maybe go over. We'll try this one here. So glue. And um the printable bowl I'm using at the minute is from Happiness and Crafting. It's the blue butterfly kit. And I know I've got that white edge around it. 
best laid plans and everything. So, that is our little folder. And you can trim off those little extra bits in a minute. And hopefully our little tag fits in. And then just for your closure, I use one of these little butterflies and I stick half of it on and the other half not. You could use a little die cut as well. Um, you would need something smallish, about the same size as that. And it would need to be quite stiff card. So, let's see now. Where did I set my glue? My other glue? <laughs> Not the there we go. Okay, so you want one side just to be glued. I'm just going to do it this other side this time. And I would trim that wee white bit off there. Definitely it's well over. Okay, so you've got your little uh, booklet, your little folder, and you open it up and you've got your little tag. So that is the quick and easy craft for today. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, that would be even better, and I'll see you next time. Bye!